After years of success across Canada, We Day is coming to the U.S. for the very first time ever in just three weeks. Free the Children, the organization behind We Day, supports local students as they work to help their community and others around the world. And that's how you earn a ticket to We Day. The day-long event means thousands will pack Key Arena for celebrity speakers, performers, and so much more. And it's meant to reward and inspire the students. It's here in Seattle, thanks in part to generous contributions from Microsoft and the Seattle Seahawks. So we stopped by the Overlake School in Redmond to catch a Free the Children Club in action. Ooh, I would love to help you decorate yours. All right. I'm doing two stick figures and four stick figures. <laughs> very small legs and a very long torso. Okay, so we have a total of 60 pounds. Um, this could be any old club meeting in a local high school, but it's a lot more than that. Today we, we watched a video in Sierra Leone and it really impacted me because I didn't know um, that so many people in like our world are suffering. Having access to clean water, I take it for granted and they don't have that. And it's so basic that anything we can do to help that is really like meaningful to me. Is anyone not using a blue? This is the Free the Children Club at Redmond's Overlake School. After watching a video in Sierra Leone, they start organizing a scavenger hunt to raise money for the Free the Children project there. What we do is we kind of help that um, Free the Children on a smaller scale and um, raise money to, for causes like building schools, water and things like that. Junior Biju Basu started this club after a trip to India where she visited a village that had just opened up a school for daughters of commercial sex workers, girls who had been barred from attending the public school across the street. They would get up at 6 a.m. and go to school to, till 11 a.m. so they could just you know, get that education in before they went home and took care of the rest of their lives. Bijou brought her idea for a Free the Children Club to teacher Tina Proctor. She agreed to be an advisor because she really believes in what it stands for. It's really a chance for students to see that they can make a concrete difference in other people's lives. And especially when it's a student who has the passion for the club and it's coming from them, that's really inspiring. I love it because all the kids are just so passionate about it. They're excited. They're all there early because they just want to get started. Me too. There's no answer for number seven. The scavenger hunt starts with this packet of questions and clues needed to play. Should we just redo the rest of the questions or click the typos in that? The thing that I really liked about this particular event is that it really raises a lot of awareness because there's questions about Sierra Leone, there's questions about Free the Children, and there's questions about We Day. Everyone in the club is excited about going to We Day on March 27th. I think it's going to be great. You have fun. You hear amazing speakers, and it, I mean, it's really self-empowering from the videos that I've seen, so I'm very excited. We have a lot of events for sports, and schools really celebrate those things as they should, but oftentimes people who do service don't really get the recognition and the celebration. So I like that We Day really recognizes and celebrates people who are making a difference. It's a trend Bijou hopes will continue here at Overlake, even after she graduates. I'm really hoping that it continues, um, and I think it will with the types of students that Overlake has, and I hope that that they continue to do fundraisers, they continue to raise awareness, and they continue to help spread the message of Free the Children. And Bijou tells us the reason they chose to send their fundraising to Sierra Leone was after learning 48% of the children there are child laborers and 52% of girls there between the ages of 5 and 14 are completely illiterate. Now it's this commitment to making a change in both your local and global community that earns students working with Free the Children a ticket to We Day. And again, We Day is March 27th. It's coming up. Key Arena in Seattle, the first time ever in the U.S. Thanks again in part to generous contributions from Microsoft and the Seattle Seahawks. And Q13 Fox is proud to be bringing you We Day and the stories behind it all month long.